it's uh, my pleasure to introduce the, the following speaker. Uh, he's uh, David Salas, David Salas Videla. Uh, I also have to congratulate you for your uh, success uh, in the football uh, <laughs> lesson uh, <laughs> you gave us uh, yesterday. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, he uh, is uh, uh, working in the University of Montpellier. You are working with your native Yeah, so that's right. Uh, a good friend of. Uh, uh, this team, and he's going to uh, speak about integration of non-convex p-pointed functions in locally convex spaces. So, uh, please. Okay, thanks. Uh, well, uh, first of all, this is a joint work uh, with uh, Rafael Correa and Abderrahim Hantut. Uh, it's not yet uh, submitted, but we expect to do it soon. Okay, the first of all uh, is a uh, to motivate, what is this? The, um, this is a classical result of uh, Rockefeller in the 60s that pretty much solved the integration from the subdifferential. We, we are go working with the same subdifferential that uh, Rafael speak. So um, this is the classical result in the 60s. I have the two functions that are convex proper and lower semi-continuous and I have the inclusion of one subdifferential in the other, then the two functions are equal but a constant. So what, what we, uh, uh, we have been doing uh, with Rafael and Abderrahim in different ways is try to generalize this to the non-convex case. Okay, this is a problem because the subdifferential is uh, well defined for convex functions. If we are not in convex functions, maybe this subdifferential will be empty in too many points. So it won't contain uh, enough information of the function itself, right? So what uh, we've been, what uh, Rafael Abderrahim and Yvonne Garcia, important from Peru, uh, been working about if it's in a new class, in, in a special class of uh, non-convex functions, those uh, which are epipointed. The classical definition of epipointed, of epipointedness, is a notion of coercivity. Okay, but with perturbations, the function is still going to infinity with linear perturbations. But the, the, um, the definition that uh, is more than a characterization, but is the, is the, what we want to watch is when the interior of the domain of the conjugate is not empty. If we are in Banach spaces, because this uh, was introduced for Banach spaces, this means that the conjugate is continuous. Okay? And what they proved, they gave a, a nice uh, um, integration formula, but uh, from the subdifferential of the closure in the Baidu wall of the injection of the function. So it's, a, it's not strictly direct. We don't want to mess with the, with the Baidu wall, with the Baidu wall. So what they got from the, from the subdifferential itself. It is a, in a very concrete uh, space, a space uh, who has uh, the radonical in property, and for functions that are epipointed and lower semi-continuous, we have this integration formula. Okay? People from Murcia is already familiar with this. So, this formula is a... Um, it, looks, it, it doesn't look like uh, the, the original one when we have the two functions were equal. But we, won't, we cannot expect any better. Because, first of all, this is a convex integration. So we have to get the convex holes of the functions, right? And basically, this inf convolution with the support of the domain of F star is because we are not longer in a convex case. So this, in, this uh, inclusion, that m means that G behaves good in when you restrict G, okay? G can be bigger than, can have a more domain, a bigger domain than F. So we have to restrict that. They are equal in, in, in the domain. If, if we restrict this. And this means an inf-convolution. Okay? Basically, you will see in a sketch of proof, uh, I have a... Um, okay. Because the radonical improperty, 
the conjugate function that is epipointed, so has interior of the domain non-empty, has a dense subset where uh, where is Frechet differentiable. Okay? So we have this formula. The, the subdifferential of f is in fact the differential of f at that point. And it's equal to this uh, to, to the inverse image of the subdifferential of f at x star. This is because the function is lower semi-continuous, so the epigraph is closed and it contains these points. Okay? Then we have uh, this inclusion. We have this equality already, so because the original inclusion we have this one, and this is included in this subdifferential. That is because, first of all, the interior of the, the, the this indica indicator function is continuous at some point because it has non-empty non interior, and then we can apply calculus rule. And because of x star is also in the interior of the domain, we have that the subdifferential of the indicator function is zero. So this, uh, so the subdifferential, basically this subdifferential is equal to the subdifferential of g star. And this is pretty easy to see that it's contained in the subdifferential of g star. So it's pretty straightforward. Then, thanks to the beautiness of this subdifferential in the convex case and Banach spaces, we can extend this inclusion that is only uh, demonstrate for that is only direct for a dense set. We can extend for the whole interior. This is due to the uh, to the upper semi-continuity of the subdifferential, as it, and it is a very crucial step. So with this with this formula, we can apply Rockefeller because now we have two lower semi-continuous functions, lower convex semi-continuous functions. We can apply Rockefeller to conclude that these two functions are equal up to a constant, and then apply conjugate again, and we get this. Okay, so you realize that if the domains of the conjugates are equal, this indicator function disappeared, and we get a nicer formula. Okay. So, what do we work? We realize that this is too strong. Okay? We, what we want is, in fact, this inclusion. We want that the, uh, the subdifferential of f star to be included in this subdifferential. We don't need these middle steps. Okay? So, how can we generalize this? It's because of the Frechet differentiability, this is very, very straightforward. But we don't need it. So, Okay, we work in generalizations in this sense, but uh, first of all, we try to we demonstrate this for Banach spaces, and because uh, Lionel's idea, we realize that this is true in every locally convex space. So I want to I want to remember something, some things. Okay, X, uh, we always we are going to talk about uh, Hausdorff locally convex spaces separated. Okay. Uh, this one is the Mackey topology in X due to X star. If you don't, if you don't remember or don't know what the Mackey topology is, is the uniform convergence in absolutely convex weak compact sets. Okay, you define locally convex topologies by uniform convergence. Okay, so also in X star, which topologies we got? We got we got the weak star, of course. We got we got the Mackey topology. And these two are um, compatible with the duality with X. And also we got this one that is named the strong topology. The strong topology is, uh, has more open sets than the Mackey topology. So here this, this uh, topology won't be compatible with the duality with X. So we can calculate a bidual, a bidual, okay? Because of now we have a B dual that a priori is bigger than the primal, we have two more topologies at X, at X star. The weak topology due to the dual, to, to the B dual, and the monkey topology due to the B dual. And these two are the most important for us, the monkey topologies. Okay? So you are always taking the monkey topology from the dual space. Okay? Now you recall that all the demonstration was in the dual, so, the, so that's why we, we need this topology, we are going to work in the dual. 
And a small notation, gamma zero will be the sex, the, the sex, the sets, the set of functions that are proper, convex, and theta lower semicontinuous. Okay, now we need to specify the topology. And cont of f uh, theta will be the set of continuity points with respect to the, to the theta topology of f. Okay? And r sub infinite will denote uh, r and the uh, plus infinite. Okay? So, first of all, we need to generalize some results of continuity. Okay? In order to get a result of integration, we need some structure in the subdifferential. The first, of, the first thing we got is if I have a function in gamma zero theta with continuity points, at least one continuity point, then the subdifferential is a maximal monotone operator. I don't know if this result is, it was already done, but it's uh, quite impressive. Okay? Maximal monotonicity is one of the most important uh, properties of the subdifferential in Banach spaces, and we got uh, that if I have a, a continuity point, then it's also true in a, every locally convex space. Can we expect better than that? No, not really. Because uh, Rockefeller demonstrate gives, gives a counterexample in, uh, that is in fact a counterexample in a Frechette space from a function in gamma zero with the subdifferential, with, with an empty subdifferential at each point. So in that case, of course, the subdifferential is not maximal monotone, and then we cannot expect the, this, that, that beautiful result. That would be marvelous, but it's not true. But if, it, if I have a one continuity point, I have this uh, maximal monotonicity. Also, we have that the subdifferential in the points of continuity is locally weak star bonded near the point. This means that there ex exists a neighborhood of zero which the set def star the df of x plus the, the neighborhood u is weak star bonded. Okay? Even more, well weak star bonded, I don't know if, if you know the definition, but it doesn't matter, it says. Think just in Banach spaces of uh, locally bonded. It will be it's, it's pretty much the same for us. In fact, U can be chosen such that this set is contained in an absolutely convex, that means convex and balanced, weak star compact set of X star. This step, th this observation is very important because Mackey topology is absolute convergence in these sets. Okay? Okay, uh, outer semicontinuity. We have that the subdifferential is upper semicontinuous in Banach spaces. That a priori is not true in locally convex spaces. I really don't know if there is a counterexample, but what we what we demonstrate, but we have another another uh, notion of semicontinuity that is outer semicontinuity. This means that the graph of the subdifferential, uh, the graph of the multifunction, is closed at the point. That means that for any net t lambda s lambda in the graph of the of the mapping, that means that s lambda is in R of t lambda. Okay, such that t lambda goes to t zero and s lambda is convergent, then the limit is in the graph. So for each net converging in the graph, I have that it has to be in the graph, basically. The graph is closed at the point. And if I have a function, a proper convex function, which is continuous, not, I don't need a lower semi-continuity. I don't need lower semi-continuity because I'm not looking the boundary. Okay, this function, because it has a point of continuity, is lower semi-continuous in, ho in the, whole, the whole interior, but not in the boundary. Maybe in the boundary it, it does whatever he wants, it doesn't matter, because this uh, property is local. Okay? So, when I have a continuity point, a Mackey continuity point, okay, then the subdifferential is Mackey weak star outer semi-continuous. 
So if I have a net in the primal converging in the Mackey topology and I take elements of the subdifferential converging in the weak star topology, the limit of the weak star, so the, the weak star limit of, the, of that selection will be in the subdifferential of the Mackey limit. With that, we were able to, to demonstrate all the technology that uh, Raf the Abderrahim, uh, Correa, and <coughs> Hantut, Correa, and Garcia use in his paper. First, we need a better, a better definition of epipointedness. Okay? So, we will take now a locally convex topology, separated of course, in X star. We will ask that it will be fi uh, finer than the weak star topology. Okay? In order to, to start from that point. We will say that a function is tau epipointed if the set of tau continuity points of its conjugate is non-empty. Okay? So now this concept of the interior of the domain of the conjugate not be not be empty is almost the same. So we ask to have a continuity point. We cannot say interior because maybe we are not in a bare space and if we are not in a bare space this concept of interior equal to, to the continuity points is false unless I have a continuity point a priori okay so this is a suitable definition also we introduce that that's a part of generaliz generalizing to locally convex space the part of Generalizing the Radomnikov property, this uh, equality from the subdifferential, we introduce the notion of subdifferential dense primal determinate functions. Okay, subdifferential primal determinate functions, or SDPD for short, if a, a function is that if is if it is epipointed first with the Mackey topology, this is the strongest one that we can get, than 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 we will use. So it's easier to be tau to be Mackey be pointed than to be weak star be pointed. It's easier to have a point of continuity with, with the finest topology, right? So we are including all epipointed functions. And uh, the set of functionals X star in the continuity points of the, the of the conjugate which satisfies this equality is dense in the continuity points. This equality is necessary and sufficient to have the inclusion that we want. No, it's, pardon, I'm sorry, it's, it's necessary. No, it's, it's sufficient. It's, it's definitely sufficient, not necessary. But it's sufficient. But we cannot expect any better because this is all what we can deduce from the primal itself. We don't want to mess with the B2L. Well. So we only, we only have information from the primal that is here. And we want to get all the information in the by dual. So we need density. Okay? The theorem is marvelous. It's the same. It's exactly the same theorem. But not for lower semi-continuous functions in a radonical image space, but from for SDPD functions. We have the same inclusion and we have the same result. Okay? And well, if this inclusion is true, then the functions are the same but uh, an additive constant. And that's a bit, uh, that's trivial from the equation. Okay? So, what are the key lemmas that we extended? First of all, if I have continuity in a, this is a topological uh, lemma, okay? There is no, I don't need vector structure. If I have continuity or, or a upper semi-continuity in some sense in a dense set of an open set of the domain, that means namely this, means that I can approximate the function just from this dense, then the function is upper semi-continuous. What we have, because if you realize G is any function and 
the, if G is not continuous, if G star is not continuous, this formula won't work because I will have G star plus the indicator function. The indicator function is continuous, that's not a problem. But if G star is, it is not continuous, then the formula cannot be true. But it will be a posteriori continuous because of this. Because we will check that in fact it's upper semi-continuous. And already it's lower semi-continuous, it's continuous. So the first, in fact, the first, uh, the first, uh, the first time that we got the th this uh, theorem, we also we were asking that G has a where it be pointed to what it be pointed, and now we don't need it anymore. That is a big, a huge uh, step, and this is the this key lemma. The also key lemma that uh, we got from uh, we we take this tool fr uh, of. Uh, of the last of the mentioned paper, that if I have an open set which is contained in the intersection of the continuity points, and a dense set of V when I have these inclusions, is 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 announced in the primal, but it's the same in the dual, right? If you replace x uh, by x star, we have a, we add an, a star in every part, and we have the result that we want. If we have this inclusion in the, in the dense, then we have the inclusion in all the set. And that's because of the outer semi-continuity. It is uh, very it's easier to demonstrate if I have upper semi-continuity. But it's enough to have outer semi-continuity. So we can now, this, this key tool, we can use it in locally convex spaces. This was hard. To, to show this, we, we pass for, for these continuity results. In fact, trying to solve this, we demonstrate that the subdifferential was maximal monotone and it was outer semi-continuous. There are itself nice results. So with, with these two lemmas, we can repeat the same sketch of proof that I shown at the beginning. Okay? So now the question is, okay, I have this theorem for SDPD functions. Uh, examples of, uh, of FDPD functions in order to show that this class is not uh, a stupid definition, just a suitable definition to have the theorem. Well, the first example, of course, if I have an, a Banach space with the RNP, every lower semi-continuous function is SDPT. So we got the older result as a corollary, as an example. And an example two, if X is semi-reflexive space, that means that the B-dual in the sense that I defined at the beginning, is equal to the primal, okay? This doesn't mean that it's reflexive in the classical sense, okay? Because we are, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not the same going forward in reflexivity when we are in locally complex space that going backwards. Because of, a priori, x with the strong topology in x due to x star, is not necessarily equal to x. So we can have this x, x star, and x. This is a semi reflexive space. But maybe we won't have this. And this could be a priori a new space y which contains x star. But maybe not to be x star. Okay? So when I have this, uh, when this is an equality, uh, we have these two ways to go forward. We call this as a, this is a, um, a reflexive space. But we only need semi reflexive. We only need in one direction. And every weak lower semi continuous function is SDPT. How we demonstrate this? Basically, it's the same idea of, uh, of the strong of the, this uh, vertex points in the epigraph when I have the RNP. Well, now we can work with extreme points and use Cray Milman because the subdifferentials in the continuity points are weak star compact and, and convex and weak star compact. Well, weak star compact now means weak compact. 
in the primal. So, and a lower semi-continuous function will is, is, is a close, the, the epigraph is weak closed, so it will have it weak extreme points because of basically using the tool of crane milman theorem that is true in every locally convex space. So this is the work basically. Now we can say, well, let's study better the equation that we define. The equation can be decomposed in two equations that has to happen at the same time. Okay? First, this one. This one means that the information that I have in F is in fact the information that the, the only information I need. Okay? Because you know that this is exactly the uh, all the, the, the support points in the in the convex uh, hull of F. You know, if, if you have the function that is not convex and take the convex hull, this is also red, I don't want red, and take the convex hull, okay, it's not that convex, but it doesn't matter. I have these points, okay? So, x inter the subdifferential of x star at x star is this set okay so now if because of this convexity formula with these two points i have all the information i need really of this set of the subdifferential of the convex closed hull and basically this means that the function f cannot be too different of its convex hull, and it makes sense. Think, for example, in the indicator function of the unit ball, of the open unit ball. It contains almost non -inf no information. The only point where, when this is true, is in zero. In everyone else, in, in, in every in, in every other function, this set is empty. So the function is too bad. It's, it's too, it, doesn't has, it doesn't have enough information of the subdifferential. And the second one is, well, this density property. This density property, is a, in, it doesn't depend of f. That's an important part. I have a component of the formula that doesn't depend of f, but only on f star, on f star. And well, of course, a, point, a function is SDPD if these two happen in the same points in a dense set. Okay, so this is the first one is a property of the function, and the second one is not. So we can formulate as a property of the space. We will we will say that a locally convex space is an SDPD space if for every function f star here, these functions are exactly the conjugates functions. Okay, with continuity points. There exists then a dense set when the formula, when this formula holds, and that is a property of the space. It's an Asplund-like property. It's like ask to be Frechet differentiable in a dense set. Okay, for every function here. Okay, so this this definition is the original definition of the, on on F SDPT class. Okay, with Maggi topology and those. Okay, with that, we open a new topic of research because the work was only the integration formula. So, open questions. Uh, well, we have to study the, the class of non convex SDPD functions. Basically, searching for uh, sufficient conditions. For example, to be, uh, in some sense, lower semi continuous. If I can say that this is a special family that is known. Lower semi-continuous lower semi function, weak lower semi-continuous functions is SDPD, then the class will be really useful. Okay, it's, uh, I don't know if it's possible to to characterize this in terms of sem of lower semi-continuity. I don't think so, but at least to give sufficient conditions, that's important. Okay, well, we need more examples of the of SDPD spaces. Okay, we already showed that the reflexive, the semi-reflexive spaces are, are in the SDPD class. 
So it's not equal to the Radon-Nicodym to the Radon class. So it, 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 it has sense in locally convex spaces. But we need more examples to show that this is in fact a rich class. Or maybe to show that it's not. It's, a, it's a, also an interesting result to show that this only happens in semi-reflexive spaces, for example. I, I don't think so, but... And what we are, and what I'm working now, specifically, in the managed space setting, is the SDPD class equivalent or not to the RMP? We don't have examples of the SDPD class in managed spaces. And it will be very interesting if this, is, this in fact, is a new class of spaces. Well, that's all. Thanks a lot. Yes, I would like to just to ask you a couple of uh, things to comment. Uh, mm -hmm. first, the, the concept of outer semi-continuity, you said it is new, in which sense? Uh, outer semi-continuity. The outer semi-continuity is what? New. No, it's not new. No, it's not new. It's very old. It's a it's closed graph. Yes, it's it's a it's a parallel definition in sense of outer semi-continuity, and they are not related. Outer semi-continuity could happen without having a upper semi-continuity, and the and the converse is always true. Yes, there there is a okay. The other you said previously that you have understood in an incorrect way. You said we cannot expect something better when you talk about this sufficient condition. Uh, that means that uh, you say more or less that it's impossible to get a characterization, I don't know. Uh, uh, we cannot expect, uh, we cannot expect something, something better. better in order... <laughs> okay. You said it's a sufficient condition. So no, 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 it's, it's sufficient condition, it's not a characterization, definitely. Okay, okay. you can say, for example, we, 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 we were thinking to call the functions that uh, do this as integrable, okay? In order to use the tool that we have, that is basically go to the dual and integrate them, we cannot expect any better than has this situation. Because of, what about if the, if the sub-differential of the conjugate is too complex and I don't have enough information from the primal, then this won't be useful. I will need a stronger inclusion. For example, this, uh, the injection, in fact, uh, uh, Rafael, Abderrahim, and Yvonne demonstrated that if I inject this function, the classical injection, in the B-dual, then closed it, and then take the subdifferential, and I have the inclusion in that sense, then I have this formula. So, in a stronger sense, this formula is easier to, to get. But if we only want to have this information, we will need something like this. That's, that's the idea, okay? It's not the only way to compute integration, yeah. definitely not. But with the information we have, with the information uh, with which we are working with, this is the best, uh, this is the, I think, the weakest condition that we can ask, okay? Okay, uh, just a last uh, comment about uh, just uh, you can project again theorem four through it, the main theorem four through it. Yes, okay. So you say that this uh, quality you obtain here, yeah, uh, it, it's true for SD, uh, SDPD functions, no? Yes. And please remember the definition of SDP functions. Yeah. That to happen in a dense set. And so, epipointed, and you call epipointed when the interior of the conjugate is the connected for this topology. The continuity points, continuity points, because it's not the same. But I guess you can be interested in other uh, kind of uh, relaxing condition or relaxed condition about uh, epipointness, which requires not the interior of the uh, effective domain of the conjugate to be non-empty. Just to be non empty with respect to uh, 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 relative topology uh, or the affinity. 
Uh, using this concept, you get exactly the same formula that you uh, put there. Not this one. No. This one. To restrict to the aff affine yes, another kind of uh, uh, epicornis certainly is very strong condition. And so yes. you can say you can try different ways to relax this one. Ah, okay. I see it and uh, congratulations for that and your very nice and uh, contribution that we had just to get uh, this definition and under these conditions to be sure that this formula is valid. But I say it is not the only way to relax mm -hmm. the pointers in order to get this condition. So it's, uh, perhaps it's interesting to see that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely is interesting. I think that uh, I think that uh, an student of uh, Rafael is working already in that. Pedro, Pedro Perez is uh, is, is concerned about yeah, relaxing uh, every point as function. Publish electronic analysis, valid analysis, in which in this condition just imposing that not the effective uh, no, sorry, not the interior of the uh, mm -hmm. conjugate you know, empty, mm -hmm. just the relative interior. interior. Right? And uh, concerning the market topology. Okay. Ah, there is there is a small ad set that I can talk that I can say you. Well, we demons we in the work that we are doing now, basically that thing. We show that SDPD class is closed for for closed subspaces. So then I think that that is a, that will show your your result. If I have if I have an SDPD class of space, then it's, it's also true for a space for functions with a fine with relative interior because I can take the subspace. So at least it's a it's a partial answering for your question. That's. Uh, okay, thank you again.